What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to show you how to si download sideload apps onto your Oculus Quest device. So I'm going to make this video like quick, short, simple and easy enough to follow so basically anyone even if you're not tech savvy, you can easily do this process. Now, first and foremost, what this is, is basically any games that are basically not in the App Store, in the Oculus Quest App Store, you can now download and sideload into your Oculus Quest. They may or may not run efficiently, different case, but you can download a lot of these games. Um, in general, there was uh, there, Rift games can now also be played. You don't have to sideload them anymore. That's through the Oculus Connect, I believe, the Link Connect and whatnot. Um, you can basically connect your Quest to the PC with a USB-C cable, and then you can actually play Rift games on your Quest. But this is actually a lot simpler, a lot cleaner in my eyes, and you don't have to stay connected to a PC to be able to play these games. Uh, so we're going to get right into this and let you know like what you got to do. First step is you actually have to enable developer mode on your Oculus Quest device. Um, to do that, you actually do it from your Oculus Quest app on your phone. But before that, you actually have to enable developer mode on the Oculus website itself. So I'm already enabled, as you can see. And what you basically need to do, I will leave a link in, in the description below. You just log in with your Oculus account or I guess now your Facebook account and from there it just says create a new organization you click that it asks you a few questions you just populate it that's it and then you're essentially good to go you have your own organization created like I have mine says Mo Gaming um, it, this is basically meant for you to be able to create apps it's, it's again it's a development mode essentially um, but which would let you sideload apps <laughs> so you can play and test your apps before you publish it to the market. Um, essentially, we're using that as like a trick around to basically sideload other apps into the Oculus Quest device. Once that's created, just to like very high level show you, um, I'm just taking a screenshot to show you on your Quest uh, phone, basically, uh, when you log in from your device, uh, you will see once your Quest is connected, you're going to click into more settings and under more settings, you're going to click into developer mode which you'll see over here. And then you're going to see this final screen on the right hand side, which says developer settings. You're going to enable developer mode. That's it. It's going to ask that you're going to enable it. You're going to be good to go from there. So those are the first two main steps that you have to do, which a lot of people kind of get confused on, which is understandable. No need to worry about it. So those two, once those two are done, you're almost basically 70 ish percent done. The final thing you're going to do is you're going to download side quest. This is the app that you're using to basically sideload apps into the Oculus Quest device. So I will leave this link, again, all links will be in the description, but I will leave this link in the description for you guys. Uh, this is the GitHub page. They have their main page as well, so you can download it from there if you'd like. But this is the GitHub page, which shows like the latest release and whatnot. And over here, obviously, depending on where you're trying to download it, if it's if it's Mac, they have a DMG version. If there's Windows, obviously, you're going to go for the um, EXE version. You're going to download this and install. Uh, to give you a perspective, I do have it already installed, um, and I have it open. I'm actually even going to show you what happens in here. So this is basically how it looks like. We're going to actually make it maximize this. So this is how SideQuest looks like. You can already see they have a lot of games over here. You can actually download paid plus free games. There's pre-releases. There's demos. They even got like videos. It's a lot bigger and better market than the Quest Store itself. And there's a lot of free games in here that you can actually check out. And again, there's there's paid games as well. If you want to actually obviously pay for it, you can play as you can see. They have all types of features, free or paid. They have different types of platform. What are you trying to go for? You can actually be like, I want it for the Quest. So it'll only show like technically optimized games for the Quest to a certain degree. So far, what I've played does work um, pretty good. Look, they even got like anime games, uh, Attack on Quest. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, like I said, they have like all these different features. This is the link, which is what I was talking about for Oculus Quest. You can connect it directly to your PC and take it from there. Now, just to give you another perspective, as, as you saw, I chose uh, Oculus Quest. Um, let's just say, I'm trying to think, uh, which game, which game? Let's just do Attack on Quest. So let's say you, you're like, you know what? This game looks cool. I just want to install this to my headset. This is what I want to play. So to download it directly from the... Uh, quest it's uh, like this app itself you'll most likely get that either it'll either be on itch.io or another website and it'll be zero dollars they may ask for a tip they may ask for like put like help them out on patreon if not it might just straight up be installed to headset so you're literally just going to click that and you're going to be good to go from there it'll just like as a notification oh look it's running that as you can see look i just downloaded those two games i had an apk that was installed as well um you can actually install an apk from your computer as well it'll just open up a a page uh, where you can basically just download it from your 
computer itself. And that's it. That's it. You're literally good to go. And then you can download any game you want. Like I said, either directly from an APK, which you can get it from online, either torrent or another website, or you can just straight up get it uh, from the, like I said, quest, uh, this side uh, quest app store itself again they have a lot of games they have a lot of cool things um i've checked out a few of them i've played a few games some oh i feel like it's about to bug out uh some games have worked fairly fine um and the way you actually play the game itself is when you go to your oculus quest you can either load the game from here directly but obviously if you want to play it outside of this um you're not going to see the games in your regular portfolio you're gonna have to and i know it keeps changing with every update but you're gonna have to actually go to not um I, I believe it's not authorized sources or like unknown sources so you're going to go into filter within your games you're going to go from there and you're actually going to just click yes i want to see the not authorized or unknown sources and then that's it you click into that and you can basically then see all the games that were downloaded you click into it and boom you're good to go <laughs> So that was it. Just wanted to make a quick, easy, simple tutorial for you guys to follow along how to basically download side quests and play like side load apps on your Oculus Quest device. Overall, again, it's a very cool feature. I've tried it multiple times. It works really well. I even tried like certain APK games. The only thing I've mentioned, I would mention, like I believe I tried some Rift games as an APK and I downloaded it. It kind of did not work as efficient as I wanted it to, which is to a certain degree understandable and this was not connected to a pc so uh playing it through the link system connected to the pc it gives it a bit more processing power i believe from how i understand it at least to my knowledge so that kind of crashes it a tad bit less but with this specific one if you if you're playing it directly from the quest there's a very high possibility a lot of games may crash because of those um, specific reasonings that i just mentioned um, but yeah, aside from that, if you guys overall found this video helpful and informative, please, please feel free to smash that like button helps a lot. If you are stuck on any part, please let me know in the comment section below. I will try to help you out as much as I possibly can. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Other than that, more gaming out. Peace.